long long ago before our grandfathers and great grandfathers time there lived a poor woman named archana in an indian hillside village archana was so humble and content and made a happy living one day when archana was trying to dry her clothes oh no my blanket the wind is taking it away archana followed the wind and her blanket trying to get hold of it stop come back come back it's all that i have got if i lose it then i might die shivering during nights archana kept following the wind and the wind led her to a beautiful palace at the hill top It was the palace of wind. Archana gets in the castle and meets an old lady in white. Hello young lady, I am the mother of the wind. Mother, the wind has taken away my only blanket. Will you please get it back for me? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Of course, of course. Come with me. The mother of the wind took Archana to a room full of delicious food. You must be tired. Please have anything you want. Archana gently denied the offer and mother of wind led her to another room which had sealed boxes of different sizes. Hey young lady These boxes have different things in them. Even gold and silver. You can choose one which you think that has your blanket. But you shouldn't open it here. said the mother of the wind. Archana weighed every box and took the lightest. Thanked the mother of the wind and walked out of the castle. When she opened the box, to her surprise, there was her blanket clean and dry. and also a bar of gold and a greedy neighborhood lady named bhavna was watching all these silently through the window i must rush to the palace of wind and find my luck Hello young lady I am the mother of the wind the wind has taken away my clothes and if you are not giving them back I am going to destroy the castle cool down young lady please have something to eat bhavna ate almost everything she could then young lady you can choose one which you think that has your clothes but you shouldn't open it here greedy bhavna took the heaviest box and walked out just carrying a heavy load of sand all the way home no 
a great while ago when the world was full of wonders a poor fisherman who lost his boat in the middle of the sea due to a storm reached shore swimming when he returned home to his wife honey i lost the only boat that i had oh what are we going to do for the living don't worry sweetheart you can any time build a new boat out of a tree trunk that's a brilliant idea i'll go to the forest right away the very night the fisherman went in search for a tree and also got lost in the woods ah there is a house at the distant i shall seek the help of the dwellers the fisherman went to the house and knocked its door and there came an old couple What can I do for you, young man? I couldn't find my way out of the woods. Can I please stay in your house till the sun comes up? Sure, please come in. Some time later. Sir, have you got anything for me to eat? I'm starving. Rest here, young man. We will be back in a while with dinner. Thanks for your kindness. The old couple left the place and entered a room. But the fisherman was eager to find out what they were preparing for the night. So he peeped into the room where the couple entered. On seeing the couple vanish, what did they just do? This hat must have some magical powers. The fisherman wore one of the hats and ordered the hat to follow the couple. Where am I? Ah, oh, deliciousness, deliciousness everywhere. The fisherman found the old couple stealing the food. Ah, Now I know what you do. Young man, you shouldn't be here. You don't tell me what to do. I am going to stay here and eat all the food. Okay, it's time for us to flee. The old couple vanished and the fisherman began to feed on everything that came to his sight. What a wonderful dinner. And there came in soldiers. You are the culprit who is stealing food every day. I'll take you to the king. Oh, oh, ah. Majesty he is the culprit who we were looking ah set him on fire now do you have any last wish think something think something think something ah oh, an idea i want to wear my cap for one last time it means a lot to me the cap that's it soldiers put that on his head so did the soldier And as soon as he wore the cap, go home, go home. The fisherman vanished and reappeared in front of his home, still tied to the tree trunk. Sweetheart, I am glad that you are back with the trunk. But why have you tied yourself to it? Honey, that's called fate. Do you wish to see lot of stories here? Then please subscribe this channel along with your friends and family. Enjoy all the videos of Magic Box. Magic Box English, a place to learn lot of good things with happiness. Don't
डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब